Well, in a society where you watch television five hours a day, and that's what the typical Canadian does, watches television five hours a day, please don't give me this jazz that you don't have time for prayer because we're too busy. We're not too busy. We just want to fill our lives with inanities. We fill our lives with stupidity. And after we have crowded God out, we say, we have no time. Come on now, there is time. Get up earlier in the morning. Morning is the best time for me. I get up always a half hour before I have to and lie in bed in absolute stillness. My students say, I can't do that, Camp Paula, because the minute I do, I fall asleep again. Then get down on your knees. But start the day in stillness, not ask, just surrendering. I mean, if you read the scriptures, you'll find this about Jesus. It says over and over again, and while it was yet night, he would get up and go out to a quiet place. Why? Because all day long, the power of God would flow out of him. The power of the Spirit would flow out of him. A woman touches the hem of his garment and power flows out of him. Where did he get that power? In the morning, in quietude, while it was still night, he would go out. And you can just imagine Jesus getting charged up, mm -hmm. spiritually empowered, so that he could go out and dissipate the power to the people that he touched all day long. And here's what it says. And the same power, 8th chapter of Romans, that was in Christ Jesus and raised him from the dead shall be in your mortal bodies. Prayer is being empowered.